Hey guys, it's Justine. And I'm Jenna. Welcome to episode 26 of Same Brain Podcast. Episode 26. You got me there because I didn't remember. I know. Roll that intro. New intro is nice. I love it. Tyler, great job on the intro. Thank you. Thank you. Very, very, very exciting. Very nice. This is our second episode of 2021. We skipped last week, but this might be the same week. We're not sure. Well, we skipped because that was my fault. That was my fault a little bit. It also was my fault as well because I wasn't very anxious about doing it, but I did ask you if you wanted to do a live one. Y- you did and I wasn't in the in the mood. Well, what happened was you basically hosted CES and you had a very, very wild schedule. It was, so I've talked about this other places, but- This was unlike anything I've ever experienced. So I did go to Redmond. I traveled. I felt very safe the entire time. Even when I traveled, the the flight was fairly empty. No one was next to me because Delta still allows uh, seats to be open. Mm -hmm. But I had to wake up at midnight for a call time of 2 a.m. The car picked me up at 1.50. We did rehearsals from 3 to 4 a.m. And then 4 a.m. we were live on the air. And And you did that for three days and you had uh, like... Practiced a couple of days before that yeah, too. Yeah, we did that for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Saturday and Sunday, we had all rehearsals that day, which were also very early. There was two shifts. So me and Rich DeMiro were shift one, morning shift. And then after that, Brian Tong and Naomi Kyle took over after. So they had like two completely different crews. Everything, camera people, absolutely everything. It was just like two separate productions. So even though you did have a very COVID safe, you know, time, Technically, when you come back to California, you have to self-quarantine for 10 days. Yes. So I was like, look, I'm not seeing you until I know that you are you are negative. So I was like, no, you're not coming. I'm not seeing you. I'm not coming over there. I'm not. Nope. I am playing it safe. I mean, you did after a while, got a test. It was negative. So I was like, yeah, okay, I'll I, come over for the podcast. I wanted to get the test like the day that I came back just to see, just to be, I did get a COVID test before I left. And then I was like, no, I'm going to give it a couple of days because obviously it takes a while to set in. Like yeah. it's not going to be instant. So I waited like three or four days, got the test negative. And then, you know, a couple of days later, Jenna's finally hanging out like, with me again. All right. It's a, hey man, that's the rule. I didn't make it. It's true. I'm just abiding by it. I was like, you stay over there. It's true. And you gotta be uh, careful. We also said that we were going to post our sister's podcast. I have a confession that I can't find the audio to it. So yeah, it's not a podcast if we can't find the audio. Don't know where it's at. So we have to find... The audio. And it's from October. So do you know where that might be, Justine? No, Justine. Do you? No, Justine. Have you looked? It's when you were shooting the iPhone 12 stuff. Yeah, but it was on a separate. It could be in. No. Well, well, what I mean to say is I I didn't hang out with you because I was like, you, let me see if you're slime, if it comes back negative, then cool. Um, and then we couldn't find the audio. So we're back with the podcast and we can actually talk about, you wanna do some reviews first? We should yeah. talk about yes. Yeah, yeah, we were gonna, uh, we were gonna post that video or that podcast and the audio was gone, so, so it's my fault. Anyway, all right. So thank you to everyone who's been leaving reviews on Apple Podcast. Uh, here's one, so good. This is probably my favorite podcast. You guys are really funny and I really like tech. So I think this podcast is great. The new intro music is really nice. Nice. Also, mm. all the people on your Discord are so helpful and friendly. Keep up the good work and happy 2021. Oh my gosh, oh my goodness. I hopped back on the Discord. I forgot that we had it. I told everyone, sorry for my... Um, I, you know, being absent, I didn't download it on my new phone. I actually didn't either until uh, quite frequently, like um, yesterday. Yes. We you have- know, I was, look, I was listening to music for about an hour and a half trying to find the right music. And sometimes it just, you hear, it came on and I was like, oh, there it is. There it is. I know. I feel like sometimes I'll spend more time looking for royalty-free music than I do actually editing. It's so I true. mean, it's very important. You got to dedicate, you got to find the right music. And then there's sometimes I will click the first song. I'm like, good enough. And I'll just <laughs> throw it in the timeline, copy paste it to the entire length of the video. And I was like, not my proudest moment, but I'm shrugging. I like to mix it up. Shrug. So I'll do a song at the beginning and then change it up in the middle and then put like the first one at the end sometimes. Yeah, that makes sense. Honestly, I feel like if I'm not in, in the mood, I'm like, this is fine. Before we listen to one of the um, these audio messages, um, um, oh, my thirty-five dollar cable is shorting out. You love to see it. Well, we have another uh, review. It says intro. The new intro music is great. Whoa! Wow! Wow! Yeah. Hour and a half is well spent, Tyler. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> so I forgot what I was. Oh, I was okay. So I, I'm not doing well and I'm going to explain to you what I was going to say before I say the thing that I'm going to say before we listen 
to one of our anchor messages, we just ate dinner. Oh my gosh. And we ate so much for dinner. It was like we hadn't eaten all day. Yeah. But but I've had, you know, three full meals today. Exactly. And, and I had some snacks. I was just so hungry. This restaurant is incredible. And Tyler's never eaten there before. So we really had to give him full treatment. So, so we ordered yeah. to have delivered. So it was like, we didn't actually go to a restaurant. So it was delivered. And they have like these family plan meals now. So we're like, yeah, toss it in. It's a good deal. But anyway, there's this whipped eggplant. And it comes with this bread. And it is the best thing I think I've ever had in my entire life. It's airy, it's, it's delicious, light, fluffy, <gasps> full oh. of taste. And, and like, I just kept eating and now I was, I was like, oh, I'm not full. And now it's all hitting me. And I'm like, it's also almost eight o'clock at night. So I'm like, oh, oh I got full belly. And like this chicken was like a, a, a light spice, like a garlic, like a little uh, spicy, delicious. But this family meal, it was supposed to be chicken for two, but there's definitely chicken for four. Yeah, I got the pistachio pesto, which I didn't even know you could make pesto because I thought it was pine nuts. We also had Guess a you delicious can use other nuts. kale salad. Something just happened or I did think, I blank? No, I think the the, the camera just, the, is it still recording? Toddler? Did Toddler? I blank? Still recording. All okay, good. lovely. That's the great. monitor blinked, and I wasn't sure if it flashed or if my eyes closed for a very long time. You know how sometimes the- Hey, guys. Y'all have a great podcast, and um, I got an iPhone 12 Pro Max for Christmas, and I really like it. So, yeah. Great podcast. Thank you, Dominic. Thank you. Uh, congrats on your iPhone. Sorry I cut you off. I have no idea. I was just going to say, you know how sometimes the lights flicker, but you can't tell if, the, if it was the lights are you just did a long blink? Yes, I do. And sometimes when I fall, sometimes when we're hiking and I just like my what? legs give out, I think it's because I, I think I pass out for a second and that's what happened. Like I, I black out like for a very short amount of time and I fall, but I don't actually fall. I just kind of like stumble. Well, this is all new information to me. If that's the case, we're going to get you a life alert. Uh, I have an Apple watch. It'll do. Do you have fall detect on? Of course I do. I fall. All right. Uh, let's hear from Sammy. Okay. So. Hi, Justine, and hi, Jenna. I love your podcast. I mean, it's really fun to watch and not watch, like, listen to your podcast. And, yeah, it's very amazing and inspiring. Oh, my gosh. Thank, thank you. you. I hope we can inspire you with our uh, talk of overeating at dinner. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm wearing a big sweatshirt. The sweatshirt's great. It's so uh, comfortable. I'm wearing a shirt that I absolutely hate. Oh, it's honestly, it looks good on camera. It looks good on camera, but like what, if I stand up, like I want to show you how this is disgusting. You're watching on the uh, our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash same brain. You can see this disgusting shirt. Oh, it has like a little, so it's a long sleeve shirt with like buttons down the top and then it like ties in the front. It's like, do they call it Henley? Is that like a thing? I have no Hold idea. On a second. I'm a I have <laughs> no idea what it's called, but it's like this orange color. Yeah, look, like a Henley shirt, if you know what it is. I have no idea what Henley means. <laughs> it's like a, okay, there's you a know, button you down. You know Dexter has that like green shirt with like the buttons? Yeah, so it's something kind of like that. It's like a Dexter kill shirt, but in it's orange. salmon, like a salmon color. And I wore my with AirPods front, to match. A front tie. But yeah, this front tie is hit. Like, what is this? I think it's a crime that they said that those are pink. It is a crime. It's like a salmon. Look, freedom. Um, yeah, no, this is this is not. These are not pink. That's this like is a not, salmon. I, it is a crime. It the, the 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 fact that this is so. This is kind of pink, but this is not. No, the crime that has been committed has been committed. It's just a lot. We've been lied to. It's just it's not pink. It's not that pink at all. I know. Well, I'm wearing a Henley. I have no idea what that means. Um, this is the shirt. It's disgusting. Moving on to living spaces. <laughs> No, no, absolutely not. Space. We are going to talk about the highlights of CES Dude, 2021, all digital this year with the host, I Justine. <laughs> so I was, like I said in the, the previous podcast, I was nervous about this because it was the first time that I, I was afraid of COVID, but I was also afraid of myself. Yeah. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to handle it. It's a to lot. To be completely honest with you. And then when I found out the call times, I was definitely concerned because I was like, I haven't been on camera, camera around other people being directed, reading teleprompter, having to remember things. Also that, being live in front of millions of people. Also live. It was, live it was is a lot. It was across a lot of platforms. Did you pre-record anything? We pre-recorded the outro only because we had to have that buffer time to get the new crew in. So that's the oh. only thing that we pre-recorded. So those interviews you did, that was live? Okay. Oh, that was actually pre-recorded. Okay, we've because, been lied to. Sorry. Well, that was kind of we made it obvious that it was pre-recorded. I wore a completely different outfit so that we would toss to those. I see. Yeah. 
did oh, you, you did have a different outfit on. Yeah. So that was, uh, also I got rid of a lot of like basically all of my clothing over the course of quarantine. Yeah. So I didn't even have like actual real pants. Like I only have Lululemon and the sweaters that I buy are not flattering sweaters when you're standing up. Like I felt like a, a horse with like a blanket on. Yeah. That's oh, what oh my, my gosh. I saw this TikTok. It was this little horse. I actually feel like oh, I really know. I know I can find it. So keep talking. I'm going to find it and show it to you. Cause you need to see I this. was just thinking how unflattering my outfits were and I don't know how to dress myself anymore. I don't obviously. either. If it's not Lululemon, like I don't know, I don't know how to, how to Here's, be. Here it is. Here's the horse. Oh my uh, goodness. Happy, well, that's happy me. Guy. Oh, just a happy, happy, happy guy. Oh, just a look at that. The happy, yeah. oh, the happy dog. Oh, uh, we will, happy, I will have a screenshot happy. Of the horse. Um, you gotta say that to Tyler. Yeah, it's incredible. Tyler's got it. Cause yeah, send me the link. You gotta please. get the video. That's it's honestly, incredible. that is what I felt like doing my interviews. It's incredible. I'm gonna just save the video. Honestly, like this makes, I have had a problem where I can't get off TikTok, but it's a personal problem. Okay, I don't wanna change the subject, but I also might have had a problem with TikTok today. Today I found a guy who cuts wood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's his name? I woke up to this video. I was like, I thought there was gonna be like a cute animal in it. And I was like, this just this guy chopping wood. I'm like, all right. Well, I mean, you know. Wait, wait, we got distracted. I'm sorry. CES. Back to CES. You threw me off with the horse in the blanket. I'm gonna go check on Maddie. Okay, yes. yeah. Okay. I'm gonna pets. find um his name is Thorin Bradley on TikTok. What was he your favorite thing from CES? Cuts. He's cutting wood. He's like multiple wood. types of wood. Like it doesn't even like like there's <laughs> wait, what? I'm sad we didn't get to see the John or the John Deere. I know. Every year at CES, we, we get see. to see the cool John Deere stuff. I saw that our friend Michael got to do a little project with them for CES. It was so cool. They had a little little gift box. I know. Um, but yeah, so my favorite thing I think it's CES, which is ugh, it's crazy. It's the razor face mask. Um, uh, Project Hazel is that what it's called. Yes, I want it so badly. So it has like the lights and it's clear, so you can like see your mouth. And I don't actually know how it works, but it's, I'm it's, assuming it has some type of ventilation. It doesn't have air filtration. It also oh, has RGB lights and it'll charge when you put it inside of the little case. Like no, obviously case? This is a, yeah, so it has like UV, so it'll clean it whenever you put it in the case oh, to charge it's like overnight. It's a prototype? It is a prototype. And that's the thing with CES is a lot of the stuff that you do see there. Like a lot of these things may never come out. They're prototypes, they're concepts. They could lead to other things. I want that to come out. I do too. So badly. Cause it's cool. Like I would wear that. They also have a really cool concept gaming chair that has like a, uh, do you see that I one? I did see it. It has like the, is it like the monitors? Yeah. It's like a 180 it's like a, thing. It's like, it just comes down over top. Like the monitors are surround sound. It's oh it's really neat. That would be, so, yeah. that'd be expensive. The razor booth is always one of our favorite things to visit. I know. Every single year. So last unfortunately, year, I do not get to visit. Last year, oh God. Yeah, the race, the race uh, set up. Uh, yeah. I, um, I think I grabbed one of the razor kishis and I pulled it too far and the alarm went off and I, they it like would not go off. And it was so loud. We're literally like hundreds of people all turned and were looking at me and I'm like holding this. I'm like, oh my God, I didn't steal it. I didn't steal it. And then it wouldn't shut off. So it just kept going off. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Was this I there for that? Cause I think no, I was, no. Maybe you, maybe you saw my video mm, or I tweeted it. I think it. I saw your video. Okay. I was, I was like, like, oh my gosh. I feel like I was there. No, it was so loud. I was like, this is, uh, this is what's happening. I was like, I'm not stealing. But they've had issues with theft at CES, I'm well, sure. Of course she would, because people just roll up, scoop, and roll out. Remember the one time the fire alarm went off? Do you remember the one time when the power, power went off? Went out? Yeah. Speaking of the power going off, we were shooting at the Redmond Studios uh, for Microsoft. So it's like where they shoot all the Xbox Insider, they shoot tons of commercials there. And this is like state of the art tech. Like they have this massive like micro LED wall. I don't, I'm not sure if it's micro LED, but it's um, whatever that technology is. It's basically the same thing that they use when they film the Mandalorian. The Mandalorian, so yeah. It's like a volume stage. It's massive, it's huge. It's so incredible. And it's great because they kind of have this all set up that, that you could be remote, uh, you know, viewing stuff out. It's just, like I said, state of the art. So cool. Anyway, the power goes out in basically all of Seattle, all of Redmond. And it was out the entire day of our last day of CES. I can't even imagine what, like how many generators they would need to keep that entire thing like powered. It's a huge building, the entire building, like all of Microsoft campus was lit. That's wild. Yeah. And so I stayed in a hotel, which was also kind oh. of crazy to the hotel. I ordered a, an air purifier, which I then had to bring home. Which was big. Was, I saw, I was like, what is this? It's a lot bigger than I thought. It's huge. But that's okay. It's now like the travel. The, another thing that was at CES, a ton of uh, air purifiers. Oh, LG had a bunch of them, but the the hotel situation was interesting. 
I had ordered, before I left, I was in the airport at LAX ordering my Prime Now deliveries. So when I got there, I would have like oatmeal, mm. I would have bananas and like all the things that I would need. The because, essentials. Because they didn't have room service. All the restaurants were closed. True. So I was like, oh my God, am I gonna be able to eat? I How'd also, you eat dinner? Um, Postmates. Uh, yes. It was Good a old Postmates. Great restaurant. But I also ordered, uh, I was worried about coffee because I didn't want to use the coffee maker in the hotel. Oh, yeah, no. So I bought a portable kettle. Oh, it's incredible. And it collapses. And then I got like a little pour over maker and I took some of my friend's coffee and I had delicious coffee every morning, pour over. How much did your suitcase weigh? It um, was uh, almost 80 pounds. Oh my, 80 pounds? Yes. And um, so that's when a I, lot. I could get, I think I could get 70 pounds because I flew first class. Yeah. So on Delta, on Delta first class, you, I think you can get 70, 75. 75. So I ended up having to take out a couple of things and carry them that's on the way back. Very. I mean, that's a lot. It's a lot of stuff. I mean, this humidifier or whatever it was, was like two it's feet big. tall. It was, it was very large. Brian Tong, he's the one that sent it to me because he said he also ordered one for his room. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good thing about being up there in like by Seattle is you probably got great Amazon service. I did. And do you Are remember? Are they still up there? I'm, did they move? I think they're still there, but do you remember when I said to you and how excited I was about Amazon getting new uh, product yeah. in, on Prime Now? Is it gone? Oh yeah, you know why? Because I was still ordering from Redmond. Oh. I was so excited because there's like, um, there's around here, you can't get eggs on Amazon Prime. You have to get them from Whole Foods and they had eggs. They had like a new like organic chicken breast. Oh my. I was so excited. I went to order it. It's like, um, gone. you're not in that area code anymore. That wouldn't be that wouldn't be delivered. I actually think I was able to order eggs today on Prime now. That's impressive. First time it said no and I said, uh uh-uh, uh and I try to get uh-uh. actually I don't know because I haven't been home. So my eggs could have been thefted on oh my, my door. Gosh. Oh my gosh, this could this this could be there could be crime. Wait oh <laughs> no. Nope. That sounds good. I'm so upset. I'm gonna try it again. No. Uh, okay. Wait. Let's okay let's start again. I'm so upset. That's not the right one. That's yeah. I guess. I, yeah, I that's do, it. I had a so different I was, sound. I in my was head. picturing it like my eggs have been thefted. I guess so. Egg crime. Who stole the eggs <laughs> at my door? I watched Night Stalker. What's funny is I don't even know if they've been thefted. I haven't watched it yet. Oh wow, we uh, it's um it's something. So the why I enjoyed it is because well I, didn't, I mean I didn't really enjoy it. I just watched it. They do like reenactment, like three D renders of Whoa. the crime scenes. Whoa, and it's really well done. I've been reading Helter Skelter about the Manson murders, and I feel funny. I was like, this is real life. Like this happened. And like, just like it, them explaining all the places that it happened, like in Los Angeles, I'm just like, oh. well, Night Stalker was is also. It, is in LA. Yeah. I know. Well, let me tell you what, I've been watching The Chilling Adventure of Sabrina mm. and it is absolutely nothing like the show we watched as children. I Yeah, I, that's it's what I've heard. Very dark, very dark, graphic. Oh my really? God. Gra- like what kind of graphic? A- any type of graphic. I mean, like, uh, like, like a lot of murder, oh, okay. death. They killed a mouse today. They like put it in a grinder. What the heck? I don't like that. It was just, it's very graphic. But uh, yeah, I was like, this isn't anything that I remember the show being like, I, I don't know, but yeah. Ooh, I ooh. watched, I'm watching tiny, pretty, tiny, little, pretty things, tiny th- ballet, tiny, pretty things. I love ballet. Tiny, pr- pretty. What's funny is I watched it. I saw it. The, I forget. I think the last time I was on a plane, I saw this girl watching it and I was just like, oh, it's yeah. a good show. It's, it's good. good. It's good. It's a little like slow. It, it get, well, it gets a little like risque at times. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, you really, okay. Are we gonna, you're doing, oh, you're doing that. Oh, you're doing that Are now. they in high school? Yes. Okay. That's what I thought. Cause like that's some high school behavior that I don't know about you guys, but I, I wasn't doing that in That's high why, school. Yeah, I was confused. I was like, is this like a college? I was like, well, no, you're young. And they're also like drinking all the time. Yeah. At like parties. I was very confused. Are you, did you, so you didn't finish the show yet? No. Oh. No, I didn't. Okay. Um, I'm at the music video part. Ah, which they have, one? They have, oh, is there more than one? They just shot a music video? With that girl? The or girl? are they shooting their own music video? Oh no, they're shooting. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. okay. No. All right, the girl, music, the girl. Yeah, the it's a good video. show. It's, it's, I, I feel like I've seen everything that there is to exist. Like I need new shows, but the production 
Is it, is smart. it happening again in Los Angeles in places? It is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, did I it get shut down again for a while? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't have an answer for you, but it's interesting because the COVID restrictions here are very different than what they were in Washington. I was, was I in Washington. I was in Washington. So we had a little mix up. We, <laughs> we booked my flight to Redmond, Oregon, but it was actually supposed to be Redmond, Washington, but I ended up flying into Seattle. Anyway, really doesn't have any, it no, doesn't pertain I'm not to anything sure I'm talking about. What we were talking about. We were talking about CES. Oh, I loved, there was a, it was called Cold Snap. It's a, um, it's an ice cream maker. It's basically like a Keurig for ice cream. Oh my gosh. Right? Keurig for ice. Could you imagine? I have no self-control. I know. I would just be like, "Eh," put my mouth under. No, that would be too cold on my teeth actually. Yeah, no, you don't. I think you can make smoothies or like mango, like delights. Like a light fruit. Yeah, like 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 a fruit snack. Is that a real thing or is that like a- No, it's a real thing. I think 2022. That's what oh. makes me so mad. You know, we see all these cool things and they don't come out for like months. I'm not going to want it. You're I, gonna I, want I will. It. I You're will. Want it. Was it real. Samsung that came out with a vacuum, a smart vacuum? They did. And it's really cool. cool because it uses the theme of CES was basically AI. Like yeah. they said AI, AI, this AI. I'm like, what if they, uh, like you guys yeah. have said it so many times. I don't even know what you're saying anymore. I feel like it's a very broad term. Very broad term because our toothbrush, the Oral BIO, it has AI. What? But, what? Yeah. Oh yeah. Cause it's just like, it, it, they, like that's what they call when, you know, you're, I guess it just gets, it gets smarter. It learns your habits. It learns your mouth, Ugh. you know? Anyway, the vacuum that. is called Jet, uh, ja, um, ja, uh, the, um, um, Samsung. She just Googled shoot. robot. I did. She Samsung, only Googled uh, robot. Samsung vacuum. <laughs> I typed. I watched. I typed, she typed Samsung. robot. No, I typed Samsung vacuum men. <laughs> okay. Bye, Maddie. It's like Jet something. Is it like Jet Smart? No, no. that's something else. That's like a Samsung little Samsung CES robot, va- robot vacuum. vacuum. Type in CES. Oh, this is not going C- well. CES. Oh my gosh, what is it called? So I turned the heat on. Now I'm sweating. It's that's what I said. I was like, she turned the heat on. I told the Tyler, I was like, she's gonna turn the heat on, and we're gonna be <laughs> very warm, boiling, very warm. Do you guys want a Maddie update? Yeah. Yeah. He's napping and he's cute. I did thought he just stole something potty? and ran away. He was napping and then he came in here to say hi and oh. now he's gone. He's an angel. Maddie got a haircut, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the, the vacuum is called JetBot. JetBot. Okay. It has a built-in camera. So you're able to actually like kind of control this vacuum to see what's going on. And the the commercial or like the little briefing that they had of it was really funny. They had like all these animals running around, a dog and a cat just like destroying the house. Oh and then the gosh. guy was like looking, watching the the from the vacuum. Everything happened. I keep yawning. I'm terribly sorry. I had too much bread. It's okay. Uh, I mean, well, what's it, funny is the vacuum that I have, like the iRobot, every time it gets stuck on like my carpet, it is so dramatic. It says, help. I called it Jeezy Bot. Jeezy Bot is stuck on a cliff. <laughs> I'm like, Jeezy Bot is literally on like a centimeter high carpet. I was like, stop being dramatic. Uh, so my iRobot, which I love them. Oh, I, I love it. It's so good. It's incredible. And I have a mop. Yeah, I know. I'm jealous. So I use it to clean, which you suggested that I use yeah. should use it to clean my garage out. And I did. They yeah. vacuumed and mopped. Oh my gosh. But my, um, my vacuum may have sucked up one of Maddie's collars and it like oh, destroyed no. the brushes. <gasps> <laughs> There's like a chunk out of the brush that's just like missing. Was that the um, spiky collar? No, it was one of the ones that we connected to the seatbelt. So it wasn't like that. Oh, I see. I but see, it was still, like, it was like this long. Yeah, I do How love many, the iRobot. Like two feet. I just tell Alexa to run JeezyBot and mm-hmm. then it just runs. And then I'm like, send JeezyBot home. And then JeezyBot goes home. But the rare occasion that it does get stuck on the carpet, it's like, it's stuck on a cliff. I'm like, you're being dramatic. It's not a cliff. It's a carpet. It's really good around edges and stairs because mm-hmm. I have stairs and it will sense it. And then the one time it accidentally got on my, uh, my, oh my porch. Gosh. And it would be on your balcony. On the balcony, yeah, yeah. On the balcony, I was like, oh, if this falls off, I am very high up. You're very high. Like that's that's dangerous. Yeah, but it sensed, it's smart. It sensed it. And it was like, I gotta go back inside. It's Love danger the zone. Love it. And yeah, so I great. have the one where it'll dock itself and then empty its ba- its little bag. Mine does not do that, but it's very simple. You just go, like, go whoop, whoop, trash and put it back in. The mop's incredible. So they also Samsung announced a um, they call it a handy bot, which I think is really cool for. Um, like assistant living, which yeah. is kind of cool because if you're not able to go and pick things up or you know do dishes and stuff like that, like this is where that is really, really handy. Yeah, it's the handy bot. That is really cool. I like that a lot. It's cool. Yeah, cool. there was. I mean, there's obviously tons of TVs. Um, they were talking about. Um, was there an LG rollable phone? I heard LG. 
and TCL both oh. came out with uh, rollable. rollable. They also announced some uh, like headset type augmented reality headsets. There was honestly. What do you do with a rollable phone? Uh, roll it up and put put it in your pocket. And throw it away. Oh. oh. Look, we're still doing foldables. Okay, well, folding is not, rolling doesn't seem practical, unless it's like a snap bracelet. So no, it kind of was like, so picture this. Okay, I'm picturing it. Picture this. You're Uh, you're trying to roll it. I am. So, okay, so I'm holding my phone right now, so you just would like kind of stretch it out, and it would just sort of roll out. Dun, dun, dun. And you have to do that to text? Are you just like hold it? No. It's concept sort of. No, like I, you could do this. Like a fruit roll up. Like basically. It like makes the screen larger. Yeah. So think of like a scroll. Like you have oh, a Oh, like an old scroll like a, that you. Yeah. Like you a just, map. And when you have it like all the way, it, stay, it stays. It's. Yes. Okay. Yes. I, I mean, I like it. I'm not. I mean, it's fine. I'll, I would. I would use it. Because I, I like technology. Just think that we need more cameras on our phones. Like, I think we need more. Like, we don't have enough. Right? I just don't. We need more. Look, we need more. I like having options, okay? But I can't I tell if you're being serious. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually not sure if I am either. Like, <laughs> so. I mean, I like options. And, like, yes, I like to be able to be like, I know I'm going to take a good picture if I only have my phone. But the phones are getting bigger, more expensive, and, like, heavier. Yeah. They're expensive when you really do think about it. But then when I do like kind of actually break down the amount of time that I spend on my phone. It's a lot. It's a lot. I spend m- most of my life on my phone. Me too. It's really, That's it's pathetic. really sad. Oh my God, it's Justine, really you're sad. a piece of garbage. But another thing about having <laughs> the lot of cameras is I feel like there's more um, surface area to scratch. True. On like the cameras because they're so big and like they stick out. So the Samsung unpacked event was also this past week. They actually, they unpacked a lot of stuff. They unpacked a lot of stuff. Three new phones, Ultra, S21. Galaxy Buds Pro, and the uh, Smart S21 Tag. S21 Plus, S21 Regular. Yeah, regular. The Smart Tags, yes. The the Buds Pro, I, I, I mean, I've used them, but I didn't really get a chance to actually test them out extensively. But I'm kind of excited about the dual mic recording. Yeah, multi-mic is, recording is yeah. pretty cool. It's cool because you can record, um, it's like the Omni where you can do the front or the back, or you can do just from a Bluetooth or a Bluetooth mix. So it'll record from your phone as well as the Bluetooth. I was trying it out, but I was like, I don't actually know how to edit this in post. You probably would just have to turn it into mono. I did. And then you but have to one turn off. sounded really bad. So then you would turn that one off. So it's kind of like, I was just talking about, I think it's pronounced deity deity microphone uh it's uh basically so the front is a, a microphone and the back so it has tools so it's tool tools <laughs> so, if, so it has like basically two microphones so if i'm out vlogging i could be filming you i would have you and then it would also have my voice in the back and it records two separate tracks yes so they would you could do them stereo and then um you could do dual mono and then you can just remove one or use both of them so i think but i left it a stereo listen to this Look Listen what, to your heart when it's going for you. Okay. Uh, you can also, Jenna. Yeah. It has an, um, an audio input. So. Oh. Right. Well, here's the thing. I told you all this months ago when I gave you the product. Well, I just found it and I'm excited like about it. Probably six months ago. It was probably six months no, ago. No, it might've been like four. It might've been like four. Cause it wasn't out whenever you gave it to me. Oh. And at the time, I'm not traveling, I'm not doing anything. So I'm like, I don't need this, but- You know what? I just cleaned my office two days ago and I refound it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm ready to like use this. Open it up because I just opened mine. I'm very excited about it. Um, I, I also was, saw, I think it was Donna or someone was using it. Yes, I actually watched his video. And then I watched, um, who else? I watched somebody else's because I was trying to figure out a good vlogging solution for Tom Green's new setup. Oh, But yes. he ended up going with the, the XLR. For the, uh, it's always say, well, it's big, but it is big. But I was also then thinking, because we're going to be trying to do like a road trip at some point here, and I'm like trying to find out a way to make a very small, compact vlogging rig on like the A7S3. But that Sony mic is so good. It is. I good. don't even know the name of it. It's like XB1 Turbo 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 But what I'm. E. S- but. <laughs> <laughs> But I want to have an option where I can have a good shotgun mic, something that's small, portable, compact, and then also have like a wireless that's oh, small. Oh, because you can't connect an external 
hold microphone to that. The problem with this put- XLR that we're using is we're using these AVX mics and there's a slight delay. So even if I use the shotgun mic and that one, there's a little bit of a delay and they make some weird buzzing sound, which we can, we've been using these for like almost three years and we can't figure out like why. Did you ever ask Sony? No. Oh, that's something I should be like, hey, maybe I have a bring question, up. Sony. Hey guys, I've They're got- They're very helpful. They are. Anything you ask, they'll be like, hey, yeah, we'll help you. So maybe send them a friendly. Maybe I'll send them a friendly, a friendly. And I think it's a, I don't know if it's a problem with the AVX microphone, just being too close to the shotgun mic because this is like a different frequency because it's constantly scanning to find the correct frequency where there isn't interference. Honestly, I don't, might even be I have no idea what you're talking about really, so. Oh, I want 2021, the- 2021, no more audio. In the video we shot today. <laughs> no more audio. I was like, yeah. We're just gonna do B-roll. We're, this is all B-roll, I'm gonna do VO. Yeah, it's nice. It's really hard when you're on the go, like out talking about product, like, yeah. Trying to film the product, talk about the product, and it's just too much. Because especially when you're doing tech stuff, because there's so much that you need to say. Yeah. And if you say it and you say it wrong, you're like, I don't really know. Can't really go back and fix this unless I do B-roll and then fix the, and do the audio. I don't know. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Did you see that picture I, I posted the other day? I yeah. sent you. I forgot to say it was I. Oh, I, I said the wrong price on the uh, the Samsung Galaxy phone because in the doc that I had there was a notation in a follow-up email that said that it was wrong. So Uh-oh. I, I didn't see the what follow-up. What was the actual price? It was eleven ninety nine. Oh, okay. I, said, I said I said twelve ninety nine. I don't know what oh. I said. Anyway, so I, like right before I was ready to export this video, I go, oh, I gotta go, I gotta go do it. I gotta record the video. Gotta do the video. I looked so pathetic and so sad just sitting here like, I gotta record it. Yeah, it was, it was a good, nice meme. I saw it. It was great. It's mm-hmm. a thing. It's a thing. It is a thing. Um, was there anything else from CES that you were like super into? Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, all the like the concept cars were really cool, especially like the flying ones, like the people movers. I did some stuff with GM, which was fun. We shot that like a month ago. Did some cool interviews. The Hummer, the EV, like the EV Hummer, oh, yeah. looks so cool. So like, cool. I really hope we can get like a little, you know, like, a, a little, little test little test drive one day. Mm-hmm. GM, hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Jenna's here. Um, yeah. So I don't know. Just there's, I'm trying to think what else. What else I saw? I watched in my jammies, and I felt guilty because like. I would roll out of bed at like 6.30 and I'm like, oh my God, you've been awake for six and a half hours already. And I would just like be drinking my coffee, watching all digital CES in my jammies and, you know, not being around thousands and thousands of people. I did miss going to dinners and like seeing our friends and seeing people. But the thought of being on the show floor, touching things that hundreds of thousands of people have touched, I'm scarred. And like- I, I'm a hugger. Like I give people hugs and I don't think I'm going to be doing that anymore. But also like some people have like this. So just because, I mean, you guys might understand because you watch our videos often. So you like, we, you have this connection where you do feel like we're friends and sometimes people come up and get very close and like definitely enter your safe space. I mean, we've been kissed on the face. I'm like, I do not know you. And I don't don't say anything because I'm too nice, but I think now I would yeah, it's you, not, that's not okay. That, no, you can't kiss people in the face. I've had people come up and pick me up. That I, is never okay. And I, so there's one thing like, I, you could, we could be married. And if you pick me up in like, I don't want to be picked, do not. Well, pick then me that up. would be the shortest marriage ever because you would be, <laughs> you'd be on your way out. Did you just pick me up? I told you never to pick me up. You're out. Oh, I hate it. I hate it too. I don't like being, like, why would somebody come up to someone? Unless and pick my them up? leg is broken, <laughs> my foot something i get bit by a rattlesnake don't pick me up look if i have a severed artery that's when you can pick me up well we probably couldn't move you well think it just that's the only time i don't know okay you know, apply a tourniquet first. yeah i was gonna say then, we get a yeah. tourniquet and then and, and then you can be picked now we pick you should be okay. s- squirting blood Oof, messy. Uh, anyway okay so we, those are the rules we have a lot of rules don't don't pick us up don't you, kiss me you guys know what a fireman carry is over the shoulder yeah, that's fine. You, you grab each foot and then pull each ankle over each shoulder and then carry the person upside down. Mm, that sounds, I'd be like, what? I don't what? know if I like I that. So well, maybe, you wouldn't know because you were unconscious because of the fire. Oh, true. Or my true. severed artery. You've, you've, you've passed out from the that's smoke. True. Well, right. that's the case. Yeah. If, I'm, if I'm in a house and I need to be carried out, yes, please carry me out or just throw me off the balcony. Don't pick just, me up. Ew. Don't Don't kiss me. 
don't don't touch me. I don't want to be touched. Yeah, I, I uh, it's weird. Like this is really messed with like my mental status of like what's I don't know. I see people and I'm like oh, I get anxiety. The first two days when I was on set, like I definitely had like a small bit of panic like yeah. the first day because I was just like I haven't been around people. I haven't talked to real people and like I mean I've talked to you guys, but like you You're know in the I'm safe space. We're the safe, the bubble. But it's definitely it's going to be weird. It is, it is weird. It is. I like know. when things get back to how they were, I'm not going to be able to get back there. Because it's like, yeah, you know, we've got the, the vaccine, whatever, but it's like, there's still other germs. I haven't had the flu. I have been, like, like I would get sick a few times a year, you know? Like I haven't had a cold. Yeah. I, I've only had panic attacks and that's like, you know, that's, yeah. that's not, you can't catch that out there yeah, in the wild. True. I mean, yeah, it's very, very true. I really haven't been sick in a while. No, Maddie, no, no, Maddie. It's just your mom. It's just your mom, Maddie. Maddie. I had to knock on the wood. Um, <laughs> the dog yeah. is upset. He's going back into the bathroom. He's like, okay, okay, fine, safe. Yeah, I know, I, I feel the same. I also feel like I am trying to make a more cautious effort to like get in better shape too. Mm -hmm. And I'm like starting taking my vitamins again because I thought about too. it. I was like, you know, if I do get COVID, like I need to build up my lung strength now yeah. while I'm healthy mm -hmm. and just in general, because I've been really just sitting on the couch eating sweets. So I did such a good job of not like eating bad until the holidays and then it just all went Snakes back downhill. I mean, yeah. we celebrated Sean's birthday and I was like, I'm gonna eat a lot of dinner and I'm not gonna eat dessert. No. I was so full from dinner. I was like, I couldn't possibly have dessert. There's yeah. always room There's. for dessert. And even if there isn't, you make room. No, you and then room. <laughs> every time you eat too much, you oh. go on my couch and then you complain. And you're like, oh, I ate too much. Like I couldn't move. I know. I Gosh. couldn't, I physically couldn't move. See, that's my problem is I have an endless like stomach. Like I can eat until Same. I, I like, But it, then it catches up to me like 20 minutes later and I'm like, oh, I regret that. Here's the thing about cake. I love cake, mm -hmm. but after eating it, I feel like the sugar in my stomach, I'm like this feels bad. The next day I felt hungover. I did too. I was like, why do I feel hungover? I literally don't drink anymore. It's from all the sugar. I break out. Sugar, sugar is the enemy. It really is. But it's so good and addicting. It's addicting. And I told myself, all right, if I'm gonna eat this cake, I'm gonna do an hour run the next day. And I did. And because like I was so just not feeling well from having too yeah. much sugar, it's like it made that run so much more difficult that yeah. it was miserable. And I usually enjoy it. Yeah, I know. I, sugar is the... Uh, it's bad. I, I keep yawning. I mean, I, I had a lot of fruit today, but that's sugar. I had, well, it's like natural. I had blueberries and watermelon. Oh, that's it. I, had I tried to eat a strawberry and it was, it was rotten. Mm. I had blueberries and strawberries and pomegranate. No, blueberries, raspberries, <gasps> and pomegranate. I thought you didn't seeds. like raspberries because they're fuzzy. I don't, but I put them in my oatmeal and then I mixed it up. Still fuzzy. It is fuzzy. Don't I don't want to talk. So all the little fuzzes are floating I, in your oh oatmeal. Oh my god! Right? Oh my god! You. I don't like the fuzzy, fuzzy oatmeal. It reminds me of like a tarantula skin, like a body with like little hairs on. You I don't, don't like it. ever like pet the tarantulas, the little fuzzes. No, soft. Well, I can pet my soft. raspberry. That's my Henley shirt. I hate it. I've been touched. <laughs> you have been touched. Sorry. Uh, don't ever do that again. Um, the horse. Good my happy, happy guy. Oh, just a happy, happy, happy guy. Oh, just a look at that a happy. Oh, the happy dog. Oh, just a happy, <laughs> this TikTok happy, is happy. great. Okay, so the, the best part is I was like, where did this song come from? And it's just this guy who's like, he has like a golden retriever on the floor. And he, he just starts singing to him. That he's like, look at my happy. A happy guy and he's stomping his feet so like oh that's my just him making the sound it's so good and that's everyone great. has like they're using the song to like their pets and i'm like oh my i'm getting a phone call oh, oh no, my okay. god but uh, yeah so happy happy dog happy 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 dog there's a report of a man with a knife 1.7 miles away well should we get a bigger one or what's uh, up i don't know we got i got an arsenal speaking of no Oh, small knife. Wait, why isn't it opening? Okay, but like, look, look at this guy. Like, what? Look at him. He's freaking cutting wood. So we were talking about Donna earlier. About, um, right? That's my kind of content. He's dreamy. He's yeah. a, dream, a dreamy, dreamy man in overalls. Yeah, you want wood. You want a good job. Uh, I have a tiny knife. This podcast. Jenna's tiny knife. What is happening? I honestly- Get off of TikTok. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, I, wanted, I wanted to see how Maddie was doing. I told Maddie today that I was going to take his favorite toy and throw it away. That's the meanest it thing It was honestly so sad. The look on his face. 
Oh, it was like, mean. and then he went and then like he just he pawed the toy. He's like, please don't. Like, look at this. Here he goes. He's the paw. Oh. <gasps> it was sad. No. Um So uh, I feel like. Do you ever feel like? Is it a paper bag or plastic? Plastic bag because it mm. flies in the wind. I love my knife, by the way, Jenna. The knife is cool. I bought. I saw our friend Donna. He posted on Instagram story of this very teeny tiny knife. It's called Wesson, I think. W e s n. Wesson. Yeah. Wesson. And I was like, that's tiny. I like it. And then they were all uh, sold out. So I was like, well, I want to get very one. Cute. So then I bought one for me and Tyler and Justine. And it's just so, oh, it's very sharp. Very sharp. It's and then nice. after I posted a picture of it on my story, Donna messaged me, and he was like. He's like, hey, did Jenna get you that? I was like, yeah, kind of like an early birthday present <laughs> thing. It was and a late was holiday like, yeah. gift. <laughs> she asked me about it because I posted it, and I was like, oh, so I should be thanking you for this. Yeah. <laughs> and I, he was like, yeah, I guess. How funny. He's that like, oh, hilarious. man, I wish they would have had an affiliate. I was like, should I just Venmo you? Like, uh-huh. I'm sorry. He's like, yeah, it's really cool. I forgot I was supposed to reach out to their their PR guy. I didn't do it. Well, you I should. just bought it because I was like, I want to support. Yeah. I have stabbed myself in the nail, like the nail. I have a have yawn. You, have you ever? Okay. Um, this is like, infected my fingernail because oh. I got I had I had to wear a face shield also during CES and there's like this little plastic thing that you have to like cut out. Well, it slid in between my fingernail oh, and gosh. the side, and Ooh. oh, like it's like there's an opening between my fingernail and where my skin should not. Be I don't open. like that. The face shield that I was making fun of that said, "What if you get caught in the rain? You're gonna drown." Because it is like upside down. Yeah, it's like a cone. Well. So the thing is with the face shields, if you wear it above, it messes up your hair. And then there's the ones that have the glasses, then it leaves makeup marks here. So like trying to keep my makeup intact and also like just like your hair and everything, it was, it was struggle. You should get a space helmet. Yeah, because they were very, very strict. Like I could not leave my little tiny room and go into the hallway without like a face mask and shield on. So yeah. it was like, everybody was very, very conscious of making sure you always wore a mask hand sanitizer everywhere so i felt i felt very safe that's good i know i was just making fun of you because it was like a cone i was like you're gonna get caught in the rain you're like it's not gonna rain i'm not going outside it rained so much you had an umbrella did you bring the umbrella home i forgot it actually in the room now i'm thinking about it i know it was a really cool you don't even own an umbrella that could have been yours yes i do i have one right by the door Oh, on the way really? out? Yes, I do. For the one time a year it rains? Yeah, and you know what? Every time I go out, I'm like, oh, I hate umbrellas. I don't want to bring it. And I don't, and then I get stuck in the rain. Okay. Well, I'm very upset that you left the umbrella. Very upset. Is that the song? No. No, no it's not. I have no, no idea that was what Green Day. <laughs> oh, shoot. I was trying to sing uh, Blind Mel- uh, No Rain. I have no idea what you're talking what? about. <laughs> what? What is that? Does anybody understand I what's happening? I was trying to sing. Um, no rain is a blind melon. Is that yeah, blind melon? The no rain song. Blind melon. We're Dude. gonna get a copyright strike. Just I need nineteen ninety two. I was three. This one. Oh, okay. You don't notice? You don't notice? All I can say oh, yeah, is yeah, that right, my right. life oh, yeah. is pretty lame. <laughs> is it lame or great? I thought it was plain. Plain. It's no, it plain. could be lame. Plain. Lame. It's plain. Plain. Yeah. Plain. I thought I didn't know it, but I know it. You I know like the watching the puddles gather. What? Rain. It's not say. I don't know. I was saying? three, but I guess. I remember watching this music video for the first time at our grandmother's house. Wow. Grandma Annie, because she had cable. Is it on TV? Oh, on yeah, t- on MTV, dude. You're watching MTV. You know what I think about often mm. is how, so we've been captioning our videos and our podcast from rev.com. And I think about, I think about who this person is that has to watch this. They have to watch I'm it. I'm so sorry. I wanted to say shout out to rev.com. Um, hi. Our captioners, we appreciate, hello. We appreciate you guys. <laughs> I think about it. I was like, <laughs> Man, they probably have an opinion about us. No, oh, they probably do, but it's, it's probably just, a different person every time. It probably is, but maybe it's the same person. They do a great job though. Yeah, I the just, captions. I, I think about it often. I was like, I wonder what they're gonna, I mean, they probably see some weird well, I'm stuff. I'm talking over top of you too, a lot. I know, me too, I'm so, sorry. It's okay. I will behave. And I don't understand why I sleep all day. And I start to complain that there's no rain. rain. <laughs> and all I can do is read a book to stay awake. And it rips my life away, but it's a great escape. 
Escape. How do they caption it? Because it's like, it has to go with the time. So like I send the YouTube link and they do captions with the time. Yeah, I mean, there's captioning software that you can use that- And then do they just go easy. through and like fix it? I have so many questions. I don't know, you can ask them. Um, I will always be there when you wake. Yeah, okay, yeah. Still going. <laughs> You know, I like to keep my cheeks dry today, hey? So stay with me and I'll have it made. I'll have it made. I'll have it made. Okay, we're done. I guess with that, all what? I can what do just is happened? just pour a tea for two. I don't know. I'm done. Did I'm we have anything song. else? Has anything else happened? Oh. Mm. Last, last no, time I said don't. that there has been no news. There's... It, <sighs> Gosh. Yeah, we actually that is the last time we did. Yeah, um, I was Jenna, like, oh, what's the worst that can, that's going to happen? Nothing's really happened in the news, and then like the biggest, one of the biggest historical things, not the biggest, but like one uh, of them of our of, pretty, our, of our decade, pretty pretty, pretty big, pretty big. Pretty big. So you know who who knows what's we are filming this right now on a Monday night, January eighteenth. Uh oh, oh god, the inauguration's wait. coming up. Should we oh, talk about it? Oh, I can't. I don't even. If Philip DeFranco I don't understand. Tweeted. I don't understand today. Two sleeps until I think inauguration or Biden's or, or, president or still Trump's out of. Or, yeah, yeah I saw. two more sleeps, and I go, "That's cute. You think that you're getting sleep on the 19th? I'm not gonna sleep. No, I'm gonna be on high alert. I'm sure it's gonna go smoothly and uh, yeah. flawlessly for sure. 100%. I mean, they have 25,000 troops that they are hand um, picking to make sure that they're not going to be doing an inside job. Yeah, that's normal. That's totally normal. Yeah. Here's the thing. Um, I, I mean, it's great that we're going to have the safety inauguration. Obviously it's very important, but the amount of money that they're spending a lot of money. on this, it's kind of upsetting because that money can be going towards small businesses, towards people COVID who have relief. COVID relief, towards people who have been out of work for years yeah. because of COVID. But now you're doing, you're, you're spending this. I know. It's our money. It is yeah. our money. <laughs> hey, they'll just print some more. No big deal. Send it to the printer. I'll go to the Capitol. Do you know about inflation? Oh God. <sighs> anyway. I, I'm so full from my dinner. I had so much bread that I, I, it's like, I can feel it like expanding. Was that like last week that that happened? Oh Our my camera God. is overheating. This never happens. Is that the A7S3? It's really, it's really yeah. hot in here. It's the A7S3. Has it's, it been, it might've been on for three days. I'm pretty sure no. this one was on for a very long time. Oh. That one's on, but this one was off. I, I came in and I, I turned it on. It wasn't even plugged in. That's weird. Do we have like, is it shooting on 120 or 240 no. or something? I don't no. Know. It's shooting normal. I Weird. wonder what, do you think it's because these topics are so hot? Yeah, hot topic. <laughs> I think it's because of- <laughs> Hot topic. <laughs> <laughs> Did, Did you guys what? Did you see that Hot Pockets is a recall? No, really? There's been recall on Hot Pockets for, I believe it's the plastic or glass. You know, I, so my Alexa just keeps telling me, um, hot, hold on, hot, this is news people. Hot Pockets this is recall. News. I have a little bit of- Every time I think about hot pockets, I just I get I, bad uh, feelings. But um, uh, so I don't drink anymore. But I did at one point because um, oh. when we went to an Ed Sheeran concert, I may have drank a little, uh, a little more than I should have because I booked <laughs> six very very expensive tickets for Ed Sheeran and yeah. I booked them for the wrong, the wrong day. day. So I just started to to drink. Uh, no, no, the day before. So it's not like it was something you could have attended yeah. in the future. It was like you missed out. Yeah. Yeah. So then you came home a little intoxicated and ate hot pockets out of your freezer. They were like half cooked. You like I was so hungry. That was in our hot pockets. I pocket also days. spilled I spilled like all the wine all over me. Yes. In a the, lot of a the, lot of things. It was a really bad time. I don't drink anymore. No. Um so they've recalled more than seven hundred thousand pounds of frozen pepperoni hot pockets that may contain glasses or may contain pieces of glass and hard plastic. How did they that received happen? four separate consumer complaints of uh, extraneous materials. Is that the right word? It sounds like a nice word. It's pretty nice. Uh, so it could oppose choking or laceration risk and should not be consumed. Ha oh, minor oral injury. Mm. Wow. Hot this is the pockets. Hot Pocket recall of 2021. This is drama, people. Oh, yeah. Storm the Capitol, get a Hot Pocket full of glass mouth. Wow. That's, wow, busy. What else has been happening in the world? Crazy because I don't like know anything else is happening. I mean, you think about it. Like these people thought that it would be okay to do that. Well, you know, 
like in their mind, they thought this was okay because their president said it was okay. Yeah, I don't, you know, I just don't know if I'm going to talk about anything. Just going to keep my mouth shut and stay in my house. Let's talk about crime. When's the last time you committed a crime, Just? Uh, probably today because I, for some reason, can't find my driver's uh, license. Oh. <laughs> okay. We drove for, you drove for an hours. hour today. Wait, you said we're going on a road trip. Listen, oh my God, I have a driver's license. I Okay, I have two somewhere. There's two. How can Someone, you have two driver's licenses? Yeah, let me Someone tell you Someone could have used it. that driver's license to sign up for Parlor. <laughs> they're gonna come and take you away oh my god they're probably on their way anyway all right hey what's okay. up okay so covid happened my my license expired is a while ago and then covid happened so i couldn't go to the dmv i told you months before it expired i said you need to make it an appointment because it yeah. takes a long time get it, it. ignored me this ignored. is why i don't want children they don't listen ignored and uh, so, you know, when I go to, to renew it, freaking DMV's closed. And then, so I do it online and I'm like, okay, cool. Well, little did I know, well, I, I did know my address is wrong. So it got shipped to an old address and then I didn't realize it. And then I went to renew it and then I updated the address and I don't know where it is now. Did, aren't you supposed to notify the DMV within 10 days of your move? It's oh. none of your business. No, it's a question. I posed it as a question. This was posed as a question. It's a question. Are you supposed to notify the DMV within 10 days of your move? Question mark. Yeah, but is, does anybody actually do that? To okay, be so with I you? haven't. Yeah, I know. I mean, I lived here for several years before. Tyler. Yeah, I was going to say, them. you moved a very long time ago. But I also wasn't sure. Like, I, I was like, is my, this is my residence? I don't, is it not? Do I actually live here? So then I sent what you a life? link today for the real ID, and it said that you already had an ID. It did. So, well, no, it said I have a driver's license. So I do have one. So if I but get you pulled over. you don't physically if, have it. Let's, let's try, let's play a game. You're the cop, you pull me over. We, 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 Miss license and registration, please. Okay, sir, I have my registration. Why has it gotta be a sir? Uh, okay, ma'am. Officer. <laughs> okay, you're right. No gender. We're, officer, you are right. <laughs> Here's my registration. <laughs> Here's my registration. <laughs> Let me tell you. Let me just tell you a little story. Um, ma'am, step out of the vehicle. <laughs> Why do I have to be a ma'am? Why do I have to be a ma'am? Um, okay, so listen, okay. listen. Here's my driver's license. Okay, this is expired. I know, I know. I put it back into my wallet because I just, in case this, this happened, but today, gonna happen. today, officer, I looked up on the internet. I have a registered license. I just don't know where it is. I have a question though, because when they scan, you know, they put the little, your information from your car into the, like the you yeah. know, database to see if you're a criminal. And then you show your license. So if you showed your expired license, it technically has the same numbers on it, right? I think the numbers are different, but it's going to show no, you. No, I think they're the same. I don't know. Because my, my numbers are the same from the last one. You're right. Well, so then. I'll be like, look, I, I have a driver's license. I don't physically have would it. Would it show up that you do technically have? Yes. A valid it, driver's license. Yes. You just don't physically have it on you. This is why I want digital um, digital, digital, get down. Just you and me, just you and me. What does that mean? I want digital identification. Well, I think that digital identification is going to be coming shortly because blockchain, I think- Blockchain, baby. Blockchain, but also like, think about it. Okay. I'm we, feeling real amped up. Tonight. Yeah, me too, man. It's that bread. We're high on carbs. Um, digital identification as well. Stop smacking your belly <laughs> because Did things are going to be all in the digital- wallets of like vaccinations yep um well that was actually my only one covid negative test you know maybe that's not a thing because since we have a vaccination yeah digital id you want to get on the plane digital id digital id i'll i'll get a tat right here scan me put the chip in my brain i'm not doing anything interesting if you want to track me honestly come find me yeah come come hang out i'm not doing Look anything ow ow i'm not doing anything i'm watching Men cut wood on TikTok. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Officer, oh we got her. <laughs> oh God, I lost his. I lost the the link now. Okay, listen. Let me. I'm okay. curious. Like, what are people's biggest concerns when they think that they're being like chipped, like and watched? Okay, like, so what are you doing? Our friend Adam, he um, Tyler shook his head. He went to go speak and shook his head. Oh, <laughs> go ahead. Yo, what's up? No. 
Okay. No, okay. So, so, okay. So he's cutting wood. Okay. Um, oh, we've gone back to the TikTok. Oh, what is his, what wait, is who his is name? this guy? I don't know. He's just some dude. Are you trying his to like holler or like holler? If anyone knows this guy, Justine wants to go on a date. No, it's I, fine. It's I, fine. I am. I, he's just. He, I, I need some firewood. <laughs> I can't. You, you even have a gas say, fireplace. I can't even make a joke. <laughs> Your fireplace is fake. I can't I even. Have a real fireplace. And you have Your you fire have a pit fake, in the backyard. Fake fire is also pit. gas. Oh jeez. She needs some wood. Oh. God. <laughs> I'm guessing it's a cut. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now I'm crying. Wait, what were you saying before the wood? There was something else we were talking about. I have about. digital oh identity. God. No, but you was, brought it back to needing <laughs> firewood. <laughs> I don't need it. Ah, that's even worse. This is not what I. No. Oh my god, I just so hot. I'm, I'm sweating. sweating. I'm sweating. I'm gonna throw up my bread. <laughs> just is literally bawling. I have tears in my eyes when I laugh. So, when I laugh, oh my I god, cry. this ain't gonna get you no man. Ah. <laughs> I'm so hot and I can't oh even my take my god. shirt off. I'm so I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I'm absolutely sweating. Um, I have no idea. Digital currency. I'm going to jail. <laughs> oh, and Jenna got me a speeding ticket a year ago. Yeah, and the and best part I, is they said I was driving your car. They let me off of the warning. It's because I'm so charming and I had a valid ID. Um, you <laughs> got in trouble for your registration being expired. Wasn't that I, all my fault? Yeah, it and was. Tyler goes, well, I, it's funny because we did the exact same trip today. Mm -hmm. And Tyler's like, oh, yeah, I saw that, that cop like 10 minutes ago. And then they've been following you. I'm like, yeah. you didn't even think to give like <laughs> homie a heads up. Like, yo, this cop is following you as you're bragging about there being no LA traffic. Sometimes randomly I'll, I'll still think about it and I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I had like three different court appearances. <laughs> she and missed all I, of them. I, no, I, well, I kept changing them because it was COVID times. It's still COVID times. But I can't go to thing. court. That officer said, all you needed to do, you, you're like, I have my registration. I just, I don't have it on the car. He's like, all you need to do is take this to sheriff's department or whatever. I don't know where the sheriff's department have is. You, do you have the internet and you show them that you had your registration? This was a year ago registration. This I'm aware. Old. So does it just kind of go away? Honestly, the next time you get pulled over, they're gonna be like, this, you are legal for this and you don't have a valid driver's license. So you're probably just gonna get arrested on the spot. And oh, I'm just cool. gonna, I'm gonna be like, well, Maddie, you're mine now. Oh no, Maddie's mine. Maddie is the only reason I came back from Redmond. I was gonna stay there. I was gonna be like, I'm I'm here now. You didn't bring anything with you other than 80 pounds of uh, air purifier. I brought like seven pairs of shoes and you know what I wore? None One pair. Of them. One oh. pair. <laughs> I want, yeah, I don't, I don't know how to dress myself. Well, the best part about getting pulled over is I got a warning. You still have this lingering ticket, which is you're gonna get arrested for it. And Tyler knew the whole time that we were gonna get pulled over. I know. I mean, I, I was a little concerned, but also it's like, like people don't get pulled over for speeding a ton in LA. So I wasn't like, eh, you know, I was like, whatever. Oh, we probably like got a bigger fish to fry. Very no. busy freeway. Well, the thing is, is I was like, oh my God, there's no traffic on a Friday afternoon. I'm going oh. so fast. Yeah. And yeah. then I had to cross over like six lanes on a very busy highway. Oh my God. Officer was a cutie though. I was like, officer, my bad. I was like, do you, oh, you already have my number. Do you want my, oh, you have my address. Oh. Cool. Boy. <laughs> I was going to be. I can't even make the jokes anymore. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> My stomach hurts. Honestly, I have not been in public and it felt so weird to be around people. I didn't like it. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, the, the vibe was weird. Some dude like scaled this rock so yeah. quick. He was like freaking Spider-Man. So like, we were on the side of the cliff and out of nowhere, these people come up behind us and I'm like, how'd you get up here? And then. Uh, he, he disappeared. Just disappeared and climbed up this straight cliff. He was wearing jeans. He had like a Vans, a fort. Which he has got like a massive, like twelve inch blade, a cowboy hat, and then Vans and climbed. No traction. Just climbed up this, and then he lost his hat. And then he lost his hat and ran, like slid down. It was big. It was probably like big mountain cliff. Sixty feet up. 
Guy was weird. He was, <laughs> he was a little weird. <laughs> Honestly, he's probably saying the same thing about us. True. We're a little weird. I feel weird. But Everything I was so concerned. I was like this. And I, is weird. I remember the story of, I think it was Hawaii. Someone's hat blew off and the friend went to get the hat and fell and died. And I had this like premonition where I'm like, I cannot witness. I don't want, I can't be here because things feel weird. And sometimes I have these premonitions and they come true. And I was like, I have to go. But he did. He was fine. Ooh, yeah. Oh, he touched my lip. You, <laughs> no, he touched my lip. So when Maddie, our dog, yawns, I like to do like this. I put my finger in his mouth and he hates it. He's just like, then he'll go. He's perfect. He's an angel. His I'm haircut, so warm. I'm so, like, we're I'm at like, an hour. Yeah, are we done speaking I now? I gotta stand up. I think we're done speaking. When when can we be expected to be completed? <laughs> I think it's now. Now I've laughed so hard. When I laugh, I get asthma. I have like, I, I, my throat closes up. Well, I have digital, digital, get down. Is that Backstreet Boys? Is that sync? In sync. Hold on. Just you and me. Just you digital, and me. Digital, get, digital, digital, get down. Digital, it's get in sync. down. Oh my God. Do you remember? Nine years ago? No, that's what it was uploaded. This was uploaded March 20th, 2020. Of your birthday. The first day of lockdown. Do you realize that? Yeah, we're coming up on a year of the pandemic. Oh my God, this was this was a hit. Get down. I'm already standing. I. We're coming up on not only Tyler's birthday. Yeah, Tyler, yeah. you're gonna get to experience the pandemic birthday. Oh yeah. Wait, we went yeah. to Boa I think last year for your birthday. Mm-hmm. Like, was, we had. I thought yeah. that was two birthdays ago. Was it last year? No, it was two birthdays ago. Two last birthdays? year I didn't do shit for our birthday. <gasps> Oh, good thing you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Did we go to another dinner? Did we do something? I, I don't remember. I, last I think we went to a dinner, but I don't remember. I wait, don't I know. remember he came with us to Boa the one year. This wait, year, wait. I'm going to make myself a grilled cheese. Oh, my God. That sounds mm. good. Wait, I'm interested. Mm. Tomato soup? I make a really, really good grilled cheese. I I'm a feel, chef. I Not feel everyone knows like that, but I'm a chef. You are. <laughs> the quesadilla, I haven't had it yet. My back hurts, so I can't sit on but the stool what did anymore. We, did, did we do something last year for your birthday? I don't I remember. feel like there was a cake. Mm-hmm. Yes, it was Vlog University. We didn't celebrate really, but we brought you a cake. Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, that that's was fun. Right. That was really nice. Really we didn't get to cake. go to dinner. Yeah, we didn't. I'm but sorry. That was a really fun time. Brought you a cake, right. Vlog that's University. Right. I was like, I remember getting a cake. I will always remember. I'll always remember dogs, and I'll always remember cake. We will celebrate when um when we do the thing that we might be doing. Yeah. It's yeah. a secret thing. It's Can you let me know your favorite thing. dessert? Right now? No, you can think about it. We kind of like treat you like like a cake or like not a cake or like cupcake. Like, do you like ice cream cake? Butter. Chocolate, 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 chocolate peanut butter. Chocolate peanut butter. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Like chocolate peanut butter mousse pie is like the best. Okay. okay. Chocolate peanut butter mousse pie. Or like a chocolate peanut butter mousse cheesecake, you know, something with chocolate peanut butter. Something. Have you ever had a chocolate peanut butter cake? Chocolate cake oh with God. like a light creamy but he peanut had butter Sarah's icing. Sarah's oh, that egg. Good. Should we get him a Sarah's chocolate peanut butter chocolate, chocolate peanut butter chocolate? We can actually get the chocolate peanut butter ice cream. We could. From we, could we could do that. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is great. This We're is gonna great. be peanut butter up. Oh I gosh. am just glad that I got all of those Yeti coolers. So I would do a little shopping. A shopping. It was like a few months ago. I was like, man, I, w- I need to go on a road trip. So I bought everything for a road trip. Never went. We didn't go on the road trip. I did I bring my little stuff. cooler bag over today. I put my Yerba in it and a protein bar. And got a Yerba I brought all of you belly. protein bars and I forgot to give them to you. Well, now people know what the secret thing is. No, they don't know. Well, they, they don't mean, know where we're going. There's there's a, we, are, a hint. we literally it's already said that hint. we were going on a road trip. Well, we're going oh. on a road trip, but then they didn't tell about the second half of it. Oh. <laughs> anyway, guys, don't forget to um renew your driver's license. Is everyone? It's very important to make sure yeah. you renew your driver's license. Um, also, um, I only got halfway through the, the real ID process and I got overwhelmed. Make sure you pay your taxes. Although, honestly, I feel like I don't want to pay my taxes this year. I'm a little upset with how our government's running, but I don't oh. go to jail. I would go to jail. You should, you, you should do jail. You should go to the Capitol. You should tell them how you feel. I say, I'm not paying my taxes. I'm a free America. Give me my, give me six hundred dollars. Then I'll pay my taxes. You probably pay I taxes. pay my taxes all the time. You it's gotta pay so it. annoying. You gotta pay taxes on the six hundred dollars, and you're basically you do. Getting, I think yeah, I'm pretty sure that's taxable. They're like, here's money, Honestly, but we're gonna take some of it back. I can't wait to tell my tax story. I've never told it. Don't about, tell it now. about the crime. I've been I was crimed. 
<laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> Honestly. Anyway, we'll say that you for guys. another day. It's going to be another day. Thank you guys so much for watching or listening. If you are listening, you can watch youtube.com slash same brain. You can leave us uh, messages. Well, you can leave us voice messages, anchor.fm slash same brain. You can also leave us reviews, Apple Podcasts, same brain. We are also on social, not as active on Twitter, but we have it. And uh, Instagram, same brain, all across the board. Don't forget, you can also buy our mugs and our merch. It stopped. <sighs> the video. We so lost audio. We still have audio. We do have audio. But the video so, cut out. Oh. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening. We will see you next time. Yep, there it is. There it Roll is. Roll that outro. Yeah.